becomes truly meaningful if we ensure that no one is left out. Our approach must be inclusive. And we talk of growth, and the latest figure we have for the second quarter of this year was impressive 4.9%. We need to be certain that the fruits of success are being widely shared from Arau to Tawau. As stated in the 11th Malaysia Plan, the federal government is committed to, and I quote, ensuring that everyone, regardless of gender, ethnicity, socio-economic status, and geographic location, can live in a truly harmonious and progressive society that bears the mark of an inclusive nation with an advanced economy. This is why the government has placed and will continue to place great importance on development in Sabah. Our democracy is at the heart of who we are as a nation. It is at the heart of our continued efforts to promote national unity, which has been recognized internationally. The Nobel Prize winning economist Joseph Stiglitz once wrote that, and I quote, Malaysia has much to teach the world, both about economics and about how to construct a vibrant, multiracial, multi-ethnic and multicultural society. Thank <laughs> you.